What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 again. Jeepers Creepers were born. So just to go back a couple steps with one of the earlier theories I was talking about as it relates to who Stu might be in the film, Peter Brooks character. Uh, initially, and what I know a lot of you have in mind, is that he is Jack Jr. He is Taggart's other son, his oldest son. And he somehow, I guess, from what we are expecting, if this is true, he would have made it out of the barn attack somehow. Taggart Sr. unfortunately died, maybe passed away before the Creeper even awakened. And now Jack Jr. is out of his going out of his way, hunting the Creeper down, uh, get revenge for his for his brother, get revenge for his father. Not because the Creeper killed his father, but because the Creeper was why his father just had never been the same since Billy's death 23 years ago. So if that's who Peter Brooks character of Stu is, assuming Stu again is not his actual name, his name would actually of course end up being Jack Jr. If that's the case, even if it's not, I know I've talked about who he could be in plenty of other videos. But the premise of what I want to talk about really regarding everything else for Jeepers Creepers 4 is that what if it actually takes a route where all of the characters that we've, we're going to meet, Michael, Chase, Lane, Ocean Navarro's character who still doesn't have a name as far as I know, and I think there's another character named Sam that I brought up who is coming to. Sam is going to be played by Gabriel Freilich. I know he's the, one of the friends that comes along with Chase and Lane to the festival at one point in the movie. So what I was thinking was that what if all of these characters have some type of fam familial tie to old creeper victims? For any of you who are fans of Scream, if you also simultaneously watch my Jeepers Creepers videos or you also watch my Jeepers Creepers videos, you know the formula that they're kind of going with when it relates to the killer's formula for Scream 5 where he's they're going after people connected and tied to the original killings and anything related to the original killers so with this what if it's like something similar where all the characters that we have they are tied to someone that we've met in the past whether it be from the second film or the first film in this instance it would probably be a lot of people from the first not the first but the second film maybe some characters from the third film like for instance what if chase is actually someone who is related to someone from that bus he could be related to double d because i know a lot of people have wanted to see that character return i've made a video talking about how double d would not be able to escape the creeper and how he would ultimately be like an opening kill if i were to come up with some type of concepts for how a jeepers creepers 4 should open set 23 years after the events of the last two films what if chase is a relative of double d could be a, a relative of i think there's another guy kimball uh could be relative to someone else that was on the bus but let's say he's just related to double deep and what chase's gripe would end up being is that he grew up in a household where his father in this case let's say that's his father double d was obsessed with this thing just as just as ta taggart was double d of course being upset obsessed with this would stem from minxie telling him you know this thing isn't going to stop coming after us and of course since the thing is in hibernation that that leaves the question mark for the next 20 years it never stops coming after you so does that mean when it awakens it's just going to come right back after double d maybe double d would just spent the last 23 years obsessing over it despite him having a son and having a family he just couldn't take it one day he ended up shooting himself and his his trauma and everything just got the best of him and he ended up taking himself out leaving behind his son chase who i've made videos talking about this like a video talking about this who his son chase learning from his father what this thing might be supposedly that's where the legend is originating from him he could have heard stories about the creeper and then after his father commits suicide he goes online finds little forms and things like again who knows how wide the the legend of this thing has spread online the the bat out of hell in poho county on east nine in the old taggart barn and basically he's trying to research this thing that his father was just so obsessed over and again he comes out to the horror hound festival with his girlfriend with the hopes of going out there to see if the thing that kept his father up at night and kept him just in constant fear for the last 23 years it was actually true and then of course he could come to find out that it was indeed true etc the other thing that would have to happen is with lane what if I, i've seen someone make a comment about this and I, I don't know if i touched on this in another video i don't think i have what if she is somehow a relative of minxie 
what if she's a relative of Minxie and maybe those two don't even know that they're connected to, maybe those two since they're dating Chase and Lane maybe they just don't know that they both come from people who were almost victims of the creeper in Jeepers Creepers 2 uh, maybe she's Minxie's daughter or some other relative a part of Minxie's lineage which would explain why she has visions if that's the case where Minxie just comes from a line of people who have insight as well like Giselle uh, and then as far as like Sam Sam could be let's say a relative of Scotty <laughs> let's say he's a relative of Scotty and maybe that just doesn't make him an instant fan favorite because given how Scotty was portrayed in the film the type of character he was the other thing I would like to just add is that this wouldn't be like things that they kind of just are. I don't want I wouldn't want them to use these as crutches, but I just feel like we're going to get a film that's not very much focused on character development. It's going to be very much more so focused on uh, just having fun with itself, having a premise that is very familiar to those of us who are already fans of this franchise. But it's not going to be anything that is topping what we got in the original with some solid character development. Uh I just don't think I think if they were to do this where they had all of the people trapped in that new house of pain connected to old victims that they we wouldn't get to learn too much about them. They would kind of just use that as crutches. I would hope they don't do that, but I just don't I, something in my gut doesn't tells me that this movie isn't going to be very heavy on giving you a reason to care about what happens to these characters. It's just going to be characters that are one dimensional at best. And again, I hope it's not because I would love to just learn things about these characters first. And then when they're in the house of pain together, they can tell their own personal stories about how they're all how they all have family members that they've lost to this thing, etc. And then we can all grow attached to them based off of not only learning some likable traits about them. Now we also know that you guys are related to some of the people that we've seen deal with this thing in the past from the bus film, maybe from the original, maybe the third one somehow, if they bring in relatives of Kenny Brandon and Darla Cleway. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Would you like to see relatives tied in somehow? Uh, if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification in this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.